Enable. The Changemakers Season 2 in association with CNBC TV 18. 2020 has been a difficult year in more ways than one. And the negative impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has been the hardest on those who had the least to begin with. As per an ASA survey, one in three rural children had no learning activity at all due to the shutting down of schools. Data from another report shows that the work participation rate for women fell from an already low 9.15% in December 2019 to just 5.8% in August 2020. Hello and welcome to season two of The Changemakers on CNBC TV 18. I'm Ridhu Bhandari. Changemakers is our exclusive series that brings to fore the work of those organizations that are creating a monumental socioeconomic impact through innovative and radical solutions to deal with the most pressing issues facing India's poorest and most marginalized communities. On today's episode, our change maker is the Edel Give Foundation, that is the philanthropic initiative of the Edelweiss Group. As one of India's leading philanthropic fund managers and advisors, Edel Give Foundation is creating a deep and wide impact by nurturing the philanthropic ecosystem of India. By partnering with corporations, foundations, and HNIs to fund and build the capacity of credible small and mid sized NGOs at the grassroots level, Edel Give Foundation is enabling social change in areas of education, women's empowerment, and sustainable livelihoods. Take a look. Set up in 2008 to provide strategic direction to the philanthropic activities of Edelweiss and its employees, Edel Give Foundation is a leading grant-making organization that functions as a philanthropic fund manager and advisor between grant makers and credible small and mid-sized grassroots NGOs across the country. By acting as a liaison between different ecosystem entities, the Edel Give Foundation is building a strong, efficient and a high-impact social sector by leveraging the capacity and capital of the for-profit world to equip and enable the non-profit sector to achieve transformational change for the vulnerable and disadvantaged communities in India. I think the, the vision behind setting up Edel Give was to be a, a different kind of corporate foundation that provided both funding support as well as capacity building support. And you must remember this was before the CSR law came into being. So this was therefore kind of one of a kind, you know, in terms of the thinking. Um, and I think over the years, our idea has been that small and medium sized NGOs in the country do frontline work. They understand communities the best. And therefore supporting them has become even more important, particularly in COVID, but even generally. So our journey along the way has been to identify, create small and medium sized nonprofits and support them along their journey to scale. Over the last 12 years, Edel Give Foundation has supported over 150 NGOs working in three broad areas. Quality education for children, building resilient livelihoods for vulnerable communities, and promoting the social and economic empowerment of women. Uh, we started in 2008. Uh, we began with education, quickly moved into livelihoods, and then women empowerment. Because really for Edel Give, it was, it was very important to approach uh, it from an ecosystem perspective. And at that time, we were in early stages. But how we're very clearly looking at education, livelihoods, and women's empowerment is really like this. In education, uh, very less can happen without government participation. So we have this phenomenal large-scale partnership with the government of Maharashtra, where uh, seven important funders have joined hands to work at scale. So we're working with more than 17 lakh children in uh, Maharashtra, and we've not even begun. That's the, that's the level of scale that we are uh, you know, at and hoping to achieve going forward. Um, in women empowerment, we really were thinking we're not doing enough if we only think of economic empowerment of women. So a very thoughtful embedding of social uh, justice was put in there where women have to be encouraged to access their rights. And last but not the least is our livelihoods portfolio, which really looks at rural empowerment where we are talking about people being able to work and live at their place of residence, being able to use natural resources and their communities to do the best in their lives. And therefore, uh, distress migration is kind of, you know, uh, discouraged. 
it's not just about partnering with projects, it's really about looking at the large scale movement that we want out of these even small steps. To address the social and economic inequalities that prevent women and girls from achieving their full potential, Edel Gift Foundation has supported projects and partners whose efforts are focused on five key priority areas. Freedom from violence and discrimination, access to legal justice, grassroots leadership, access to rights and entitlements, freedom from economic dependence. One among these partners is the NGO Iptada, concentrating its efforts on women empowerment. Iptada works in 400 villages in six blocks of Alwar district in Rajasthan to create economic and social independence for the deprived women of the Mewat region. Iptada's interventions are focused on building a cadre of grassroots women leaders known as Adhikar Sakhis who negotiate with government functionaries and Panchayati Raj institutions on issues of community rights and act as a point of contact for village members for help and support in accessing government schemes. We will like us to be considered as Edelgiv partners maybe forever. So that's how uh, the relationship with Edelgiv is, is grown over years and that's how Edelgiv has engaged with uh, us and maybe with the all NGO partners on strengthening the uh, organizations as a whole, strengthening the sectoral, sector as a whole. हमारे गांव में अधिकार समिति बनाई इत्तेदा और एडलगिव के स्टाफ आए थे। The help of Iptida and Edelgiv Foundation in our village, the Gram Adhikar Samiti was formed. The Gram Adhikar Samiti selected me as an Adhikar Sakhi. In our village, every month we hold Gram Adhikar Samiti meetings to discuss the challenges, issues and solutions for the development of the village. We hold these meetings monthly. गांव की जो भी समस्या होती है उसको चर्चा की जाती है। हमारे जो क्रांति महिला मंच चल रहा है उसमें 80 villages are connected through our Kranti Mahila Manch, bringing together 365 groups and 4,222 women. Iptida organization is associated with us and through them we have learned how to make Adhikar Sakis a committee for women, how to empower and train them so that our women can go anywhere and ask for their rights. तो वो चीज हमारे सारी महिलाओं तक हमने पहुंचाई उनको सारी महिलाओं की चीज समझाई आज हमारी महिलाएं कहीं भी जाकर अपना हक मांग सकती हैं Another focus area for Idle Gift Foundation is providing children with equal access to quality education irrespective of background gender and socio economic status The foundation's priority areas in ensuring quality education for children include school transformation early childhood education innovation and experimentation, research and advocacy. Right now we are working in about seven districts. We are working with uh, seven funders. Uh, I want to name them. Uh, there is Great Eastern Shipping. Uh, there is, uh, you know, uh, SAR Group, which is the uh, Sita Devi Malhotra Trust Foundation, one of the first who entered this partnership uh, because it was a high stakes partnership and we went to people who we trusted. Tata Trust joined us, uh, Credit Suisse joined us, uh, Dalian Foundation, a foundation from Switzerland joined us, HD Parek joined us. It, it's just, and, and all this with the initial audacity that Edelweiss showed. So with the seven of us, we're going really strong and we will be looking to expand uh, this footprint uh, and we'll have to balance both uh, the funders as well as the NGOs. Uh, Gyan Prakash, uh, you know, joined us and it was, it was really uh, the state government, uh, the principal secretary at that time, Nand Kumar and uh, Kyolia joined us and then this became a project where we would work with government systems to enable that the last mile is reached. The first year was uh, just about 25,000 children uh, trying to address their needs, working with systems that address their needs. But it, it's turned around so well that within a year and a half we could scale it to more than 1.5 million which is like nearly 15 lakh children and uh, we're very excited. It looks like in the next decade, the entire Maharashtra will be working with, uh, you know, important officials in all of Maharashtra to improve the delivery of education and the quality of education the child gets in, in Amra, uh, Amravati and Garchiroli and places like that, not just in Bombay. To achieve this goal, the collaborators for transforming education 
a public private partnership with the department of school education and sports government of maharashtra was facilitated by idlge foundation through this coalition Edelgem intends to solve the multifaceted problem of education by bringing reforms at a systemic level. An essential partner of Edelgem in implementing this movement has been the Gyan Prakash Foundation that works in four districts in Maharashtra: Nandurbar, Parbhani, Satara, and Solapur. KEF works at Amravati and Garchiroli, and Quest works at Hingoli towards bridging the gap between the education policy and its implementation by adopting a data driven decision making approach at each level in the system we have out of the 36 districts in maharashtra there are four districts where uh, gyan prakash foundation has been working and two districts where kavil education foundation so we are covering six districts now why are we covering six districts is fundamentally to pilot the changes that we are making and to demonstrate this to the government and then let the government fundamentally take ownership of transferring these processes right across the state the collaborators for transforming education program works closely with teachers and all the administrative and academic structures across seven districts of maharashtra to enhance learning outcomes of children build capacities of educational functionaries at multiple levels and improve community ownership for sustainability pratyek navinyapurna upakram rabavnaya shikshakala sandhi deun tyala te manogat vyakt kele jata giving the teacher a chance to express his thoughts is a very innovative venture those teachers whose activities fall behind all of the crg members take collaborative action to take it back or find a solution to it like which topic should be taken up in the meetings of smc or which topic should be given priority and in the village meetings we hold the priority is given to what funds should be sanctioned for the school we use that program and consider those relevant topics The Gyan Prakash Foundation has provided invaluable assistance for the improvement of the school by holding a meeting of the school management committee on the fourth Saturday of the month by discussing improving the quality of education of the students and by discussing the physical needs of the schools. The third leaf of Edel Gift Foundation's portfolio concentrates on building resilient and sustainable livelihood opportunities through partnership with NGOs who are systematically transforming lives of the most vulnerable communities through contextual and targeted interventions in four focus areas: water for livelihood, financial inclusion, skill and institutional building, employability, skill building. In around 2015, we moved. our uh, focus really to look at community sustainable development of communities sustainable livelihoods of communities um it worked really well because it's it's fascinating to see how much a community will respond with even small initiatives that help them build where they are and across board we saw very encouraging results an important partner in this focus area for idil gift foundation has been pragati corp partnership idil gift jo ki We are very happy to partner with Adelgi Foundation because the villages are now focused on increasing nutritional food security. They are eating vegetables food throughout the year, and simultaneously they are earning around two to three lakhs. And this is a big achievement. They are additionally they are incoming more than two to three lakhs. ये बहुत बड़ा achievement है. The Idil Gift program implemented with 6000 small and marginal farmers in five blocks of Korapur district in Odisha has focused on increasing nutritional food security and income through a system of crop intensification in paddy, millets, pulses and vegetables. So with support of Idil Gift Foundation we are promoting system of crop intensification for nutritional food security of small and marginal farmers so we had a target to reach out to 6000 small and marginal farmers and so far we have covered 7093 farmers who are adopting system of crop intensification in paddy millets and pulses eco friendly irrigation infrastructure 
with half acre model farms have been demonstrated in 10 villages for income enhancement of small and marginal farmers. Pragati supported me for a half acre model. They gave me papaya plants, raw materials for farming. They also supported me with solar pump because of which I could save rupees 20 to 25,000, which I spent it on diesel. I planted papaya trees in 800 square meter of the land, brinjal and pointed guard in 400 square meter each and seasonal vegetables in rest of the 400 square meter. I made 2 lakhs by selling the vegetables from my half acre model. On that note, let's slip into a short break right now. But on the other side, we take a look at some of the initiatives that Eagle Gift Foundation is driving as part of its collaborative philanthropic approach. Stay with us on The Changemakers Season 2 exclusively on CNBC TV 18. The Changemakers Season 2 in association with CNBC TV 18. Welcome back. You are watching season two of The Changemakers on CNBC TV 18. And on today's episode, we are shining the spotlight on the different initiatives of the Edel Gift Foundation, which is in fact the philanthropic arm of the Edelweiss Group. To effect change in a sustainable manner, it's crucial that all stakeholders become a part of the transformational process. Edel Gift Foundation realizes this and is managing many collaborative initiatives for a positive social impact. Here's more. Edel Give curates special collaborative projects where several donors come together and support large projects for collective impact. I think of all the sectors, the need for collaboration is probably the highest in the development sector. And the reason for that is actually twofold. One is that the scale of the problems in India is really huge. Whether you look at issues around maternal health, whether you look at our issues around education, where we have over 220 million school-going children, most of them in the government sector. So I think when the scale is so large, you need to have a systems approach. The second is that government will always be a really big part of development. That is their responsibility. They have the strength. They have the resources. But philanthropy will only be a minuscule part. So therefore, only by collaborating in philanthropy with the different stakeholders, whether it's the funders, whether it's the NGOs, government, multilateral agencies, this collaboration can help drive both a systems approach as well as an approach to solving problems at scale. Presently, Edel Gift Foundation is part of many coalitions with multiple stakeholders in different areas of impact creation. These are the Collaborators for Transforming Education, launched by Edel Gift Foundation in 2016 to support the government of Maharashtra. The Coalition for Women Empowerment, started by Edel Gift Foundation in 2019 to enable social and economic empowerment of women in India. Edel Gift is also a core member of the India Climate Collaborative a first of its kind initiative that brings together India's top philanthropists to address the increasing and pressing climate crisis in India. Pay What It Takes Initiative, a multi-year initiative working towards awareness building, strategic guidance and engaging NGOs to get their inputs on building a resilient non-profit sector. And Edelgave is also a strategic partner to the Migrants Resilience Collaborative, a multi-stakeholder collaborative of non-profit, philanthropic and private sector actors facilitated by Jan Sahas, which is focused on ensuring safe and responsible recovery of migrant families and their livelihoods in India post-COVID-19. I think in the midst of this crisis, you know, we've seen many things that have not gone right, but the approach, the combined approach of philanthropy, of corporates, of NGOs, of government, has really helped in ensuring that the people who were most impacted by COVID actually saw some relief. To counter the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, Edel Gift Foundation has recently developed and will be launching the Grow Fund that aims to build, support and sustain 100 grassroots organizations across India over a period of 24 months. 
the thinking behind the grow fund is that we need resilience among the in the ngo sector we need that resilience because they are the ones who go in the in communities and you know they are the ones who perform you know acts around food security around providing livelihood uh, connections and access and i think this is what really triggered our thinking around setting up the grow fund which would bring together a cohort of 100 due diligence ngos to whom we could provide funding over the next two years along with very curated capacity building targeted to what they really needed and this is really what we passionately believe is required over the next two years edelgift foundation's philosophy of giving back to society extends to its employees edelites who volunteer their partner ngos for donation drives disaster relief operations and capacity building projects we encourage and we ourselves are funders of capacity building we have some outstanding organizations like ourselves who also fund capacity building but we are less in number uh, i really hope we we look into a future where a lot of funders can join us in funding capacity building of this sector which is completely cash deprived when it comes to building its own strength uh, we're just serving communities we're not building the strength of the ecosystem where philanthropy has to nurture Edel Gift Foundation through its extensive network of partners foundations and NGOs is investing in social transformation through a collaborative philanthropy model which is enabling and empowering the not for profit social sector to generate a higher positive impact in the society our vision going forward is how do we work with these different actors in the philanthropic ecosystem and deliver uh, you know solutions in a very collaborative way that can fasten impact that can fast forward or accelerate impact and i think that is really our passion we want to bring we want to look at ourselves as somebody who can manage philanthropy for large uh, you know uh, funders who really don't uh, you know have the time to set up full time teams so our work over the last few years has been largely around building that learning platform that can allow all the different players in the philanthropic ecosystem to work with each other and to collaborate well edel gift foundation's comprehensive reach and its responsible and effective approach to philanthropy is truly remarkable on that note we bring down the curtains on this episode of the change makers season 2 But of course as always we'll continue to bring you stories of change makers who are spearheading the movement for a better and a more equitable society. Thank you very much for joining us today. Goodbye. The Change Makers Season 2 in association with CNBC TV 18.